Bad and you are watching the channel The Allrounders. So welcome all of you. So today our topic is uh, about the five main oceans of the world. The five oceans of the world, and this is the world. No, it's not that tiny, but it's a uh, project or it's a globe. We call it the globe. So in a tiny way, it looks like this. It's a ball. It's round and it's like a ball when you look at it with you know, on the space in space when we look at it it's like a ball so that's uh, why the globe is like a ball and these this whole blue thing you can see is are the oceans and seas so I won't discuss seas uh, in this video but stay tuned for my next video uh, I will discuss the seas in the next video so this whole blue thing is the ocean and the sea that is and it's water right so we should describe the five main oceans so i will describe all this here i picked this thing up so you can understand that it is round and this corner and this corner they are combined how they are combined actually where it is a flat shaped but when we do it like this they are combined this corner and this corner on the corners it's like this this and this right so uh, that's why I want to show you that how is the real world like. I'm going to explain the whole lecture on this. So I'm just going to put it away. Right. So the Pacific Ocean is the first ocean we're going to discuss about. It is the largest and the deepest ocean. So it's, it's 63.8 million square miles large. And its depth is approximately 11 kilometers. Right, it's 11 kilometers deep and it's 63.8 million miles a square, million square miles large. That's a huge number. And, and the first one to explore it was, uh, you know, it's li it lies between the Asia and the North America. Between do, uh, these two uh, continents and also the South America, three continents, it lies in here and in here. So I told you it's combined. So it's like this. So it's like it's a it's the huge ocean. It's the largest ocean of the world and the deepest too. So uh, the first one to explore it was a European sailor in 1513, and the first one to sail across it was a Portuguese sailor in 1521. And he named it the Pacific Ocean because of its peaceful nature. It, the waves aren't there that high. So that's why we call it the Pacific Ocean. And near the Mariana Islands, uh, near Philippines, it's the deepest. And it's the, the deepest point of the uh, Pacific Ocean is near the Mariana Islands. And uh, in Urdu, we call it Bahrul Kahil. Uh, so Kahil means uh, lazy. So that's why we call it Bahrul Kahil. So this whole I told you about is the uh, Pacific Ocean, right? Is the Pacific Ocean. So now we will come to the second largest body of the planet that is called the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean lies between the four continents. That is called the North America, the South America, the Europe and the Asia, uh, Africa, sorry, the Africa. So its shape is in here. Or here is the Atlantic Ocean. So it's shaped like S. Right? It's shaped like, like S and and, the, and I'll tell you a story about the Atlantic Ocean that uh, Christopher Columbus wanted to find a route through the Atlantic Ocean to India. But he accidentally found, uh, went to a new land and later a new explorer, Amerigo, uh, named it. Uh, he thought that it's not India, it's a new land. He discovered that. So he named it America. He named it America. This and this were found later than this, all of this. So that's why we, in today's life, we call all this the new world. Right. So... The name uh, Atlantic comes from the, um, uh, there are some mountain ranges in its depth that are called the uh, Atlas. So, and the last continent of Atlantis too, uh, the great uh, philosopher 
Plato wrote about it in 355 BC that about that continent, uh, about that continent islands uh, civilization that is it was very powerful island continent or uh, it was very wealthy but it sank because of the earthquakes and the floods so uh, how much large is this ocean it is 41 million square miles large 41 million square miles the pacific ocean was uh, 63.8 million square miles but this ocean is 41 point uh, 41 million uh, square miles and its depth is nearly four kilometers 3900 meters right so let's move on to the next uh, to, to the next uh, the third largest body on the planet that is the indian ocean that lies between the continent of Africa and the Australia that lies between these continents these two continents and uh, be between these two continents and it is the warmest ocean and it's uh, it is uh, 28 million uh, large and its depth is uh, near the Atlantic Ocean it is 3890 meters that is 3900 meters it is 3890 meters so uh, they both are near in depth but not in uh, larging or the width right so it uh, its name comes from the indian subcontinent uh, the indian subcontinent and the first one to explore it was an arabian called ibn Battuta. And the Indian Ocean has ma the many of the great rivers flow in it, like the Indus and many others. Uh, Indus and I don't remember them now, but there are many others. And there are many uh, important ports and harbors of the Indian Ocean, like Mumbai in India and Jakarta in Indonesia, the Melbourne in Australia, and Richards Bay in Africa, and there are some more but these are the main uh, harbors of the indian ocean so let's come to the fourth largest body of water that is the southern ocean it it is it lies near the antarctic continent you can't see it but i can see it uh, it's, it lies here near the uh, antarctic continent and it is also called the Ant antarctic ocean so it is uh, near uh, all it is uh, frozen and no one lives in here because of its harsh cold weather but there are some camps of research and scientists who want to study about weather and there are some camps so how do they get there if it's all, all frozen uh, there are some special kind of uh, ships made that cut through the ice yes that cut cut through the ice so they can get to their spot and there are camps and some researcher uh, researchers go there to the research about the space or many other things and now i will tell you the last and the fifth uh, and the smallest ocean in the world that is the arctic ocean and that lies on the north pole right that lies on the north pole and it's uh, it's nearly whole frozen like the Antarctic Ocean. It's very cold. No one lives there here there either. And it borders Russia, Norway, uh, Sweden, Finland, and Greenland, uh, of course, and uh, some parts of Canada and United States of America. And the first one to explore it was a Greek sailor. And the first one to reach the North Pole was an American sailor called Edward in 1909 so this all is the Arctic Ocean so this is our today's lecture we learned about the Indian Ocean the Pacific Ocean the Atlantic Ocean the Arctic and the Antarctic Ocean so we learned all these things so uh, stay tuned for my next video that would be about the major seas of the world and stay tuned for that video and the other videos and if you like the video please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get the notification for my next videos so stay tuned for my next video goodbye